I would say that what we set out to do was to make, in the course of about five hours, a mystery film in a very mysterious place, in a kind of supersonic capsule of a car. Um, yeah, a tiny mystery story that even we don't understand. Well, coming to the Highlands for this project um, felt like uh, a sort of natural, really. Partly because it's where I live um, and partly because there's something about this car that's so modern but so ancient. It's like a child's drawing of a supersonic car. Uh, and it feels like a rock, you know, it's something that's always been there. And it felt really amazing to bring it and put it amongst these rocks. And Haida is someone who makes clothes that feel like they might be medieval. You know, they might have been worn by people in the early 8th century in this place. Well, Haida is someone I love as a friend. Um, and I knew his work before he became a friend, so I've always been a fan of his work. Uh, so I have that wonderful combination of admiring one of my closest friends and his work. And his work is so... I don't know, I mean, to say it's timeless is kind of banal, because you can say that about a lot of things, but it really is. It's both supersonic, modern and ancient, and of course incredibly easy to wear. I find, and it's all about moving. It makes you want to just move his work. Um, and the color palette is always amazing. And so, for example, the clothes that he made for this shoot are so perfectly blended into the rocks. It feels like we might have dug them up somewhere in a chest. So that's one of the reasons why Haida was the perfect playmate for this project. I've always been a great fan of Rowe's work. I think he does something very interesting with a very clean aesthetic that he always makes a little sick somehow. He always twists it in a very uh, lively way. Uh, and so his images always feel super fresh. And uh, he's a very, very, very interesting artist. And I'm really thrilled to, to know him now and to have made this up with him. Well, we did that thing that's a great luxury, which is to kind of throw ourselves off the cliff. We just all knew we wanted to work together. Mercedes gave us this wonderful invitation to work together on this project and this beautiful car. And we just sort of, I don't know, we just threw ourselves into it. We made a, we made a game of it. We gave ourselves the brief that we would make a mystery story and, um, and make something that came out of the landscape that also kind of sat on top of it, a bit like the car. You know, it feels like it's, uh, it's a, a little bullet moving through this highland landscape. And uh, it just felt like playtime. Well, Mercedes made this extraordinary vehicle, which is, I mean, I have to confess, I've never sat in a car like that. I mean, I don't know if a car like that has ever existed before, but I don't sit in fancy cars very often, and that is one fancy car. It's super simple. It feels like a six-year-old's idea of a really fancy car, but it's so beautiful. And it's, it's handmade. I mean, there's something really handmade about it. It feels very haute couture. <laughs> I don't think I'm, I don't think Haida needs a muse. I think Haida is his own muse. He's, maybe he's mine. Um, I think uh, people who collaborate and like each other amuse each other. So no, I'm, I'm very happy to be amused by many people. I think the best piece of advice I ever received about filmmaking was from my friend Derek Jarman who always used to say, turn up on time, hold your own light, and don't expect to be paid, which is a very good piece of advice and stood me in great stead over the last 30 years. <laughs> I 
Berlin is full of friends and uh, memories. And yeah, it, it, it feels like a kind of space capsule. It's all roads lead to Berlin for me. My favorite German artist, um, I would say, I want to say Ernst Lubitsch, but I wonder if he isn't Austrian. So I will say then maybe my friend Christoph Schlingensief. Um, and my favorite German designer, I would have to say, with honor, Karl Lagerfeld. What do I look for in people I work with? Um, a sense of play um, and, I don't know, people who, people who like working with other people. I think that sense of it's group dynamic is something I always knew when I worked, first of all, in films with Derek Jarman. And um, people who want to have a good time when you're working, that's a great start always and a great finish. Um, people who would rather have a great time and let the work be a kind of symptom of that. Well, Berlin's a very, very precious place for me. It's full of friends and many memories. I've been uh, hanging around Berlin for years and years. I've never been to Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week Berlin, but this year I'm going and uh, I look forward to it very much. I'm sure that uh, I'll make new friends there.